Polymers are a group of high molecular weight compounds made of monomers, which are smaller repeating units. The monomers are linked by covalent bonds to form polymers. The common polymers occurring in nature are shellac, tortoiseshell, latex, amber, hair, DNA, proteins, and cellulose. Semi-synthetic and synthetic polymers are man-made industrial polymers created for everyday use. Semi-synthetic polymers are created by chemically modifying natural polymers. For example, rayon is a semi-synthetic polymer produced by modifying naturally occurring cellulose. Synthetic polymers, such as polyethylene, are synthesized in laboratories and are a proven substitute for conventional materials such as wood, metal, bone, leather, and stone. The invention of synthetic polymers was prompted by the demand for billiard balls in the 19th century. The early billiard balls were made of ivory, sourced from the tusks of elephants. Ivory was an expensive and limited resource. A pool table maker advertised a hefty reward to customers for coming up with an alternative material for fabricating billiard balls. In response to the advertisement, John Wesley Hyatt from New York created celluloid from modified cellulose. Celluloid is the first semi-synthetic material produced by man. The newly invented celluloid was flammable and was a poor substitute for ivory for the billiard balls. Nevertheless, celluloid became a household name and was used for knife handles, combs, and other items. Later, at the beginning of the 20th century, Philan Leo Bakeland invented an entirely synthetic material, Bakelite, as a substitute for shellac. Hyatt's and Bakeland's inventions heralded the advent of synthetic polymers. These synthetic polymers were very versatile and could be melted and molded to a desired shape. They became a new class of materials called plastics. During the Second World War, traditional raw materials were diverted to the war effort and new materials were required to address additional needs. This played a pivotal role in launching synthetic polymers on the world stage. The raw materials for synthetic polymers are often crude oil and natural gas. The availability of raw materials and low production costs makes synthetic polymers an affordable material for manufacturing consumer goods. Synthetic polymers are versatile and durable materials used for manufacturing a wide variety of consumer products. When compared to metals and glass, synthetic polymers are lightweight, have superior insulation, and are corrosion resistant. Synthetic polymers offer product engineers design flexibility to produce complex parts. In addition, the resins can be modified to improve the performance of the end product. Synthetic polymers are a material of choice for food packaging as they have barrier properties while being chemically inert. Synthetic polymers are routinely used in building materials, such as flooring, roofing, and electrical supplies, and infrastructure projects, such as pipes for water distribution and sewage systems. In the healthcare industry, synthetic polymers are widely used for manufacturing parts and housing for medical equipment, single-use medical devices such as syringes, catheters, and tubings, dental restorative polymers, and specialized products such as stents, pacemakers, and 3D printed parts. Synthetic polymers have widespread application in the automotive, packaging, and electronic device sectors as well. Although synthetic polymers are a more sustainable option for materials sourced from nature, the challenge lies in its afterlife. Most synthetic polymers, especially plastics, are non-degradable and negatively impact environmental health. A majority of plastics are recyclable and can be recycled through solid waste management programs. Polymer engineers worldwide are seeking to develop fully recyclable or degradable plastics that support a circular economy. 